Hello, and welcome to a surprise Dune unboxing. Four different Dunes, Roman numerals 15, all the way up through 19. I'm just kidding, it's just a cemetery dance unboxing. But obviously, if you saw the title of the video, you already knew that. Uh, Jared from Cemetery Dance uh, likes to reuse packaging, so he shipped this in a box he received Dune in. Let me tell you, it's a pretty decent sized box, if you can see on the camera there. And it is perhaps the tiniest, one of the tiniest centipede press books ever gotten. Like, look at all this empty space. But, um, he does a great job with bubble wrap. He uses nice big bubble wrap, as you can see. And it keeps the book nice and secure. I'm just going to peek at the bottom of this box. Nope, nothing. Just tissue paper. I was going to say, I saw some paper on the bottom, and Jared... As I mentioned, likes to reuse uh, various things for his packing materials, whether it be a box that Dune arrived in, or sometimes I'll throw little extras in. You see little fun ones there. Anyways, this is Black Easter by James Bleach. You know, it's only been a little while since we got uh, the most recent title, Dr. Mirabilis, and suddenly Black Easter is already upon us. Just in time to be before Easter. Anyways, uh, so this is Black Easter, Black Easter, the third title in James Bleach's After Such Knowledge uh, Quartet. Uh, the fourth title, which is a direct sequel to this one, will be coming later in 2022. And I can see that this is number 68 to match my other titles in the series, as well as to match my Dune. So if you haven't checked out my Dune unboxing, please do so on the channel. It's a nice little slim volume. There's a top edge stain. Let's get a closer look, shall we? So, I, have, I haven't read the first two titles yet, just because I've got a million things to read, and Dr. Mirabilis, like, just came, like, a few weeks ago. So, <laughs> this was hot on the heels of it. But I do know that all of the titles, uh, they're just, they're related in kind of religious themes. They're not actual sequels to each other. And... Even the genres of the titles are all different. So, uh, Black Easter here. Let's get the, uh, the dust jacket off. Beautiful dust jacket artwork by Samuel Araya. Or Araya? Very nice. Uh, so, Black Easter here is a horror title. More of like a horror fantasy. So, the very first title, which was A Case of Conscience, uh, was more of a science fiction title. It takes place in space. Second title, Dr. Mirabilis, uh, was a historical... Uh, historical fiction featuring, uh, you know, Dr. Mirabilis himself. Uh, and finally here we have Black Easter, which is a horror title about an arms dealer who uses black magic. Ooh, get in focus there, buddy. Uses black magic to summon demons to Earth. And that, oh my God. So, <laughs> put this down for a second. So Alan Kazowski has been doing like little uh, doodles for each of the titles and he did a little cover piece here and wouldn't you know you can actually see the name on the kind of faustian contract there is alan k that's a really cool way of hiding your name very cool uh very nice end papers kind of like scally if you will there's a little thing about james bleach black easter or faust aleph null uh, it was serialized as Faust Aleph Null. Uh, so it's got kind of Faustian themes, Dr. Faustus. You should check that out. Man makes deal with the devil. So I presume that the arms dealer in this is the one who makes the deal with the devil. Uh, J.A. Lawrence does the introduction. And then there is some archival work here. There's the original art dust jacket. Cover by J.A. Lawrence. Oh, so wait, the cover artist was the same one who did the uh, introduction. That is really cool. Got some archival dust jackets there. Very nice. Wayne Douglas Barlow has and Chris Moore uh, both did some archival work in this. Uh, Barlow did some archival work in the uh, last title, Dr. Mirabilis, as well. Wow. And there's Christopher Marlowe, who wrote... Um, he was a contemporary of Shakespeare, and he was the one who wrote Dr. Faustus. I like Marlowe. Good playwright. In Memoriam of C.S. Lewis, which kind of goes in hand with the uh, theological 
bits. James Bleach has his own little introduction there, his little author's note, preparation of the author, the operator, if I could read correctly. Uh, there is some interior artwork here. Little, uh, as I said, little Alan K pieces throughout. And this is a very slim title. I know they said that, I read online, that the third, this being the third title, and the fourth title usually get grouped together, kind of like a dual uh, double book. Like the old doubles, as they used to say. Did they say that? I don't know. Here we go. I uh, hope that's not a spoiler alert, because I went to the last page where there's, you know, the image for the Aleph Null, which is the cardinal numbers, the lowest you can get to infinity. There it is, signed by the facsimile signature of James Bleach, Samuel Araya. Chris Moore, Wayne Douglas Barlow, and Alan Kozowski. Very nice. The set of four books. Oh, yeah, so there actually says the, the four books. There we go, the quartet. And nice little end paper. It's not even an end paper. It's like the little back side of the signature page is there. Uh, so I'm very excited. I know the fourth book is coming out soon. Uh, hopefully not too soon because my wallet is getting wrecked in 2022 so far. And we're talking, we're talking Suntup. We're talking Lyra's. Uh, it's just a bunch of stuff coming out. Dune still hurts me. But anyways, uh, I don't believe this is available. At least, I don't know. It hasn't gone to public, as far as I'm aware. Um, I don't think any Dr. Mirabilis has made it to public, either. I know there's. it's said when I was purchasing it, you could get signed or unsigned copies. Uh, you know, you'd get a signed copy if you had a signed copy of the previous titles, uh, unsigned copies if you did not have the previous titles, or presumably if you had a previous unsigned copy. Um, but as far as I'm aware, this hasn't made it to public presale yet, so copies may still be available when it does go to presale over at centipedepress.com, or you may have to rely on the secondary markets. Either way, I'm very happy to add this to my collection. Thank you very much to Jared at Centipede Press for doing such a wonderful job, as you always do. Looking forward to uh, filling out my quartet of James Bleach titles and keeping this tag. Well, I don't know who it was tipped by, by the way. Normally a, there's a initials there. So perhaps uh, some sort of Faustian deal was made by someone who did not wish to sign their name to the ledger in order to get this book bound, or tipped, I should say, the signature sheet getting tipped in. I don't know. I'm just rambling. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please consider to like and subscribe, as the kids say on YouTube these days. And we'll see you around next time.